News Hub can reveal camper vans are being used to help high-risk people in overcrowded households isolate safely. But Pacifica health providers say camper vans don't go far enough. It comes as a church minister says he's used a church hall to isolate 14 boys, 13 of whom have tested positive. Investigations reporter Michael Mora has this exclusive story. The Ifakasa church was hit hard during Delta and again during this outbreak. 136 households linked to this church and two other partner churches are isolating. All of our houses were not designed for to have a special place for isolation. And I think all families, uh, they are all, we are all struggling because of that. 14 boys isolating in the church hall. They'd been away on a trip when they learned their parents had the virus. When they came back, they were not allowed to go back home. So they were forced to stay together. He says support the boys received has been excellent, although the isolation clock restarts for all 14 each time one tests positive. That could be part of the, uh, the learning curve for, for, for the government and for the health department and for everyone to learn from from this case. South Seas Healthcare is overseeing the church cluster and says overcrowding and a lack of options is frustrating families. Households that have families of 10 plus end up staying in isolation periods for, for up to 45 days. At the South Seas Community Isolation HQ, the cluster's growth is monitored in real time and shows in some cases up to 16 people are living in one house. Our experience is that we've got families who have got um, you know, big families that have got elderly folks and also people with multiple um, health conditions. He says 15 families were escalated for alternative accommodation, but only three got a room in MIQ. Health Minister Andrew Little told News Hub he's aware of the issues and is talking with DHBs about alternative accommodation. He says MB now has access to 125 camper vans, but they'd only be allowed to be used in exceptional circumstances. But the concern is camper vans are not the solution. A camper van doesn't quite go far enough. We need to look at alternatives where big families can actually self-isolate. Auckland is the epicentre of the Omicron outbreak, but counties Monaco is the hardest hit DHB with 2,602 active cases, compared with 890 in Auckland and 580 in Waitemata. 15 health and welfare providers met to discuss the overcrowding issue in Mangere. It, it is urgent. It's growing uh, pretty, fairly quickly at the moment. Between them, they say they have access to houses that will ease the pressure. We've got, uh, I think, capacity of about um, 60 between us, uh, but we don't have the funding to be able to fund it. The workload is mounting. In the work that, we, that we've experienced in the last week, it definitely feels like we're in phase three. When we're only supposed to be in phase two, and it's only predicted the coming weeks will get more intense. Michael Mora, News Hub.